For the outline in this introduction, firstly, I will tell you about the application and uses of lactic acid. And secondly, I will discuss about the plant location and the reason why we choose that place as our plant location. For the first outline, which is application and uses of lactic acid, there is three subtopics that I will explain about. First is the uses of lactic acid in industrial, second in food industry and lastly in pharmaceutical and cosmetic. In industrial application, lactic acid will act as a monomer in the production of biodegradable PLA. Other than that, it will also be used as a raw material for the production of lactic ester, which is used for degreasing. Application in food industry Lactic acid used as a preservative, acidulant, and flavoring. Lactic acid utilized in food technology as a pH regulator and also act as a microbial preservative. Application in pharmaceutical and cosmetic Lactic acid is used in pharmaceutical industry as a very important ingredient in IV sweet and it also used as a common ingredient in moisturizer and skin whitener. The solution of plant location After considering so many factors, we decided to be open at Pekananas 1 Industrial Area 8500 Pontian, Johor Bahru. This is the map for the exact location. The reason why we choose that area is because easy to get raw material from the supplier. Second, it involves low cost of transportation because pan area is near to the supplier of pan apple waste area. And lastly, it is easier to transport. Here we show you the list of the main supplier of pan apple waste. In Johor Bahru, such as at Pontian and Skudai, it only takes about less than one hour. We used six raw materials for lactic acid production, which are immobilized lactobacillus del brewer KATC 9646, liquid pineapple wastes, yeast extract, calcium carbonate, 78% sulfuric acid and activated carbon. We introduced first raw material which is immobilized lactobacillus del brewer KATC 9646. Lactobacillus is mesophilic bacteria. Its optimum temperature is between 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. It can survive in pH 5 to 6. We choose lactobacillus because it is homo fermenter, which means it only produces lactic acid. No other side products are produced. We purchase it from DSMZ, Deutsch Sammlung von Mikroorganismen und Zellkulturen GmbH, Germany in this fermentation process. We used immobilized lactobacillus, comma, lactobacillus will undergo classical entrapment method to produce immobilized lactobacillus. Why we used immobilized lactobacillus? Because it can help to maintain in high and stable cell concentration. Besides, it has longer working lifetime than free cell system. It can retain for 20 days before undergo death phase. Next, immobilized lactobacillus also can produce higher productivity than free cell. It also ease of downstream processing, which is easier to filter out with the beeps. After knowing the advantages of immobilized lactobacillus, we proceed to lactobacillus immobilization by classical entrapment method. Firstly, MRS broth content lactobacillus mixed with 2% sodium alginate solution and stirred it for 5 newts. Then solution was dropped into 0.2 m calcium chloride. Beets are allowed to be hardened for 30 minutes. Then, washed them with 0.85% sodium chloride solution and then immobilized lactobacillus are formed. Stored it at 4 degrees Celsius if we have not want to use it. Finally, 
mobilized lactob bacillus was done to be the second raw material is liquid pineapple waste the reason for us to choose pineapple waste is because malaysia is one of the major producers of pineapple in malaysia about 30 to 50 percent of pineapple waste is discarded during pineapple processing especially pineapple canning industry which is producing a large quantities of pineapple waste the second reason is because pineapple waste contains high level of carbohydrates. The carbohydrate is simple sugars which are sucrose, glucose and fructose. All of these sugars can be acts as substrate for lactic acid production. The pineapple waste that is charged to the environment untreated can cause a serious environment problem. Therefore, by using pineapple waste, environment problem can be reduced. How can we obtain liquid pineapple waste? Firstly, pineapple waste we buy from the suppliers and deliver it to our factory. In factory, pineapple wastes are undergo crushing and pressing. Then solid waste and liquid waste will be produced separately. Solid pineapple waste we will sell it to farmer for cattle feeding. The liquid pineapple waste will be used as substrate for lactic acid production. Before undergo fermentation process, liquid pineapple waste will undergo pre-treatment. Liquid pineapple waste was boiled in a stainless steel vessel for 5 minutes, to deactivate the existing enzymes then undergo centrifugation, to remove the solid particles. The liquid pineapple waste then store in the freezer. When we need it, we defrost it by using microwave oven, then sterilize it by using vacuum filter. Then the liquid pineapple waste was done prepared, you can be used in fermentation process. Third raw material is yeast extract. Liquid pineapple waste has little nitrogen and soluble protein therefore the substrate must be supplemented with yeast extract as a nitrogen source. The carbohydrate containing medium has been enriched with yeast extract to achieve the optimal growth conditions for the demand of nutrient on lactic acid bacteria. Fourth raw material is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is usually the least expensive of the salts available for the purpose. It functions as adjustment of the pH of the fermentation broth. Fifth drill material is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid will be used in downstream process. It will react with calcium lactate to form insoluble calcium sulfate, easier to filter out. Sixth drill material is activated carbon. Reactor type Highly skilled production of lactic acid One of the problems faced is the abundance of pineapple waste within the country. By thinking the content in the pineapple waste after the reaction, it can be converted into a useful product which is lactic acid. An leaf bioreactor is used for the pilot skill production of lactic acid. First reason air leaf bioreactor does not require impellers for mixing which would damage the calcium arginate beads whereas air leaf bioreactor uses bubbles for mixing Second reason air leaf bioreactor has a greater heat remover because it does not need the heat plate to control the temperature as the dew inside the bioreactor can be designed to serve as heat exchanger Third reason Nitrogen gas is used in this fermentation process in order to maintain the anaerobic condition for lactic acid fermentation. Fourth reason Instead of using a bigger bubbles in the air leaf bioreactor, there is an improvement can be made to the air leaf bioreactor that is microbubble system. By reducing the size of bubble used for mixing, it increases the interfacial area between gas and liquid and also the surface area to volume ratio of a bubble.
and produce lactic acid. As a small conclusion for reactor type, when all the raw materials together with the inoculum is added into the airlift bar reactor, conditions maintained at 40 degrees Celsius and pH 6.5, the, the products produced will be separate and purified in the downstream processes. This is the overall augmentation project for pilot scale plant of lactic acid production. First, 3% of weight over volume calcium carbonate is added into blending tank to precipitate the calcium lactate and the pH is at 6.0. And the 70 gram per liter liquid pineapple waste also added that only contain glucose and fructose as carbon sources. Then, 0.05% yeast extract was added as nitrogen sources. The film size is 5% from size of fire reactor. Volume of fermenter for pilot scale is 30 liter with working volume of 20 liter. The batch fermentation working for 160 hours. Initial sugar concentration is 70 gram per liter. Lactic acid yield is 0.8 gram lactic acid per gram sugar. And the optimum temperature for fermentation is 37 degrees Celsius. Parata unit. Rotary filter 1. The fermentation rose is filtered to separate air debris immobilized in calcium acid and protein sediment. The fermentation that free of bacteria is easy for separation of pure lactic acid as any product from the other impurities because no need the additional step to kill and remove bacteria from cultivars. Sulfuric acid tank. The sulfuric acid was presumed to be supplied for two months. The function of sulfuric acid is to turn calcium lactate to calcium sulfate so that can separate pure and more concentrated lactic acid from the bowl. The acidifier tank, the crude product in acidifier tank reacted using 78% of sulfuric acid resulted in lactic acid and calcium sulfate. Naturally, lactic acid is a corrosive product. To prevent the corrosion, G16 stainless steel vessels is used to for recover of lactic acid from fermentation bowl. The carry filter 2. The resultant calcium sulfate is filtered. The suspension contains about 4% of calcium sulfate at the end of this process. Evaporator. Lastly, the evaporator, the bleach lactic acid from rotary filter 2 is then be concentrated by vacuum evaporator to give a food material containing 50 or 2% lactic acid. Multi effect of evaporator were used to minimize the energy utilization. Evaporator are assumed to perform concurrently in three steps below atmospheric pressure because of their polymerization properties of lactic acid. And the temperature of the evaporator is presumed at 90, 75 and 55 degrees Celsius. Purification unit operation comes after separator unit which is used to achieve a purity of product. Fermentation brought from previous units still contain a number of impurities such as residual sugar, color, nutrients, and other organic acid as part of cell mass. The impurities must be removed from the broth by purification process to achieve more pure lactic acid. There were two steps in purification unit. First step occurs in bleaching tank and second step is filter press. 
After the calcium sulfate was filtered from separator unit, the free lactic acid is bleached by activated carbon for about 0.05% weight per volume. The activated carbon using plate and frame filter press. The operating time and pressure drop were assumed at 4 hours and 40 psi respectively. Storage unit. Once get a pure concentrated lactic acid, we must be stored it properly for a long term use. The freshly prepared lactic acid solution is a free acid that contains little or no polymer. The solution must be keep at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius in a dry and sterile glass bottle. When we keep at low temperature and high concentrated iron, the polymer formation should proceed much more slow. Waste water unit. Byproduct from this process are bacteria immobilized in calcium alginate, calcium sulfate and impurities of activated carbon. Calcium sulfate is in the form of solid waste can be sold to the construction companies and child producing companies. Impurities of activated carbon is recycled by thermal reactivation for reuse. The higher temperature reactivation connects to over 800 degrees Celsius. Calcium alginate itself has a very slow degradation rate. Periodic oxidation of alginate clears carbon-carbon bond of the cis diol group in the uranate residue and alter chain conformation would result in promoting hydrolysis of alginate in aqueous solution. The calcium alginate degradation rate depends on the pH and temperature of solution.